Hello, Springfield City Hall. Mm-hmm. Oh, is that right? I'll tell them. The Simpsons are finally making a movie. And the studio is holding a competition to see who the real Springfield is. The Simpsons? They haven't been good in like 10 years. Not since Conan left. It's every town's dream to be identified as the home of the Simpsons. Are you crazy? That's the worst show on TV. It's everything that's wrong with this country. I'll be a cartoons monkey's uncle if we are the town who lets Hollywood down. Do we really want to be known as a town with a perpetual tire fire? Uh, we are known for that. The Simpsons are big money people. Billions. Just think of all the PR. All the tourist dollars that could be flooding this community. Uh, I vote we move the town treasure to another city and elect me mayor. Excellent. We need to think big, Mr. Mayor. Ray Bulger big. Any ideas? We could reopen our 1980 World Fair Pavilion. Springfield has a lot to be proud of. And I don't think we should be jumping through hoops just to please some faceless multinational company thousands of miles from here. These people live in a world of self-importance, double entendre, and breathtaking real explosions. I know just the person. <laughs> Hello, I'm Rory C. Moulet. You may remember me from such kitchen safety films as Orange is the Color of Fire or Timmy Finds a Knife. Today we're going to teach our friend Mr. Whiskers here about his mortal enemy, the microwave. Cut! Listen, Dan, I'm the actor, writer, director of this project, therefore the only one that can say cut. And secondly, that was the best take we've had in like an hour. The cat was good. I was fantastic. Why would you stop the magic? It's the mayor. It's an emergency. What? Yeah, this is Rory. They what? Hmm. Well, you know what? I'm gonna need complete control. I get to pick the cast and crew, and I'm gonna need a car. Okay, forget the car, but I'm gonna need a ride because my mom took the car to Shelbyville. Is it rolling? Oh, hello. The people from Springfield, Ohio have asked me to produce a five minute video explicating how this Springfield has the most Simpson spirit. So in true Coppola fashion, I'm producing a five minute documentary about the making of this film. I'm a little nervous, but we have a great cast. I've studied acting for 11 years, including getting my MFA in drama at Yale. I'm a chameleon of sorts. My strongest role was as the asbestos victim in the Bronsky Law Firm commercial. Hey, I'm Phil. I owe Molly 75 bucks for a gig box. He said he'd call it even if I played this part. I was told there'd be ham sandwiches. Has anybody seen any ham sandwiches? A concept is simple. It's a slice of life piece meets film noir. Real Oliver Stone meets Oliver the musical. A real think piece. Do you even know what any of that means? Turn the camera off, please. Don't ever question me while we are rolling. Sorry, I just didn't understand that. It's not about you, Dan. It's about the animators. They understand me. They're the second highest artist on the art totem pole. Well, who's at the top? Crossword puzzle makers. Okay, people, listen up. This is the big scene, the climax. Our Homer character has just unraveled the riddle of the killer's cryptic clues. It is now, only now, dawning on Homer that the very clues he's been seeking have been in his own couch all along. Mr. Mullet, why would they be in the couch? It's Moulet, you clod, and clearly the couch symbolizes domesticity and is central to our core themes. And what's with the can of yellow Simpsons paint? They sent him for makeup or something, I don't know. You can't smoke near that. Dan, who's the writer, producer, and director here? Hey, hey! <laughs> Hello, I'm Rory C. Moulet. You may remember me from such apology films as I didn't see your dog, I swear, or I'm no good at weddings. As a part of my court settlement, I'd like to apologize to the fine city of Springfield, as well as the News Corp Corporation. Please don't take my thumbs. Yeah. We who? Our monorail has finally pulled in! I still get to keep the camera. Right?